What's wrong with this picture? It's half past eleven. It's a weekday. And I'm downstairs chilling, I'm doing no work. Do you know, I mean, that's the best thing about working for yourself. Sometimes you can just get up and go, I can't be bothered today. Now, fair enough. You know, a lot of people say, oh, that must be nice. You know, I have to go to work and stuff like that. But, you know, if I had a pressing deadline, then I couldn't do that. So there's still, you know, situations where you, you just basically have to work. Because if you don't get the job done, you don't get paid. Um, so, you know, there's that in it. Um, but because I, I'm sort of ahead on some things and I'm at the stage of finishing things off and the deadlines aren't until the end of the week, I'm just chilling. Uh, I'm in the blankie. And obviously Ace is over there. But uh, he usually lies with Daddy, don't you? Ace, why are you not lying with Daddy? What you're not lying with daddy for. Alright guys, welcome to another Sunday vlog. Sorry I haven't been in this one much. No, she's been working, what, seven days off the trot or six? I've been in for seven days, yeah, yeah off the trot. So she's been doing like longer shifts and now I'm loving you, bless you. Unfortunately, yes. So, so <laughs> yes, so that's why Tracy is not in it very much, um, but you know, a, Weekly vlogging catches what you're up to during the week, so if she's working all that time, mm. then she's not going to feature in it. But don't worry, I can talk about technology. <laughs> that would be also when I'm not here. <laughs> exactly, it'd be like it would be a two-hour vlog if I didn't like heavily cut it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So without further ado, take a look at what we got up to this week. She's yawning again. What he got up to this week, really? What I got up to this week. <laughs> Come and lie with Daddy then. Come on then. Come on then. That way, no, no, you're going the wrong way, son. No, this, go, go around this way, Ace. Yes. That way, and turn round, Ace. Yes. Turn round this way. There you go. That's a clever lad, clever boy. And obviously, Ace loves lying with his daddy, don't you? Yeah, he loves he loves it when I'm I'm not at work. Um, well, I love it when I'm not at work, but uh. He, he treasures days like this, don't you? Yeah? You like days like this lying with daddy, don't you? Yeah? He's looking at the camera because he knows I'm he knows I'm filming, don't you? You often wonder what dog's concepts of obviously cameras are like. He knows I'm talking to you guys. And he's constantly looking at it because there's a big camera with a microphone pointing at him. But you wonder like what he thinks, don't you? You know what I mean? So but um, you know, I'll probably be back to work all day upstairs tomorrow um, and he'll have to get used to being downstairs on his own again. I mean, he does come up and see us and, you know, I still take him for walks and stuff, but uh, he's never liked my computer. I don't know if I've ever taught you this, but uh, when I got my Mac Pro and I got delivered, it, um, he barked at it. See, there he is, he's down now because he's not getting attention. Now, I've just watched this brilliant documentary on Channel 4 called Trouble With Dad, and it's David Badil and his father, Colin, who's got Pick's disease, and it's a form of dementia. Um, and it was really, really funny and moving at the same time because this guy was like a compulsive swearer. So, obviously, when he got the Pick's disease, it brought that out more. Um, and the way he showed affection was to basically call his son's names, including David and his two brothers. Um, but towards the end of the documentary, um, it affected him more where he wasn't doing that. And because they're so used to him being like that and not really being affectionate and showing love in a different way, which is usually calling them names. Um, a bit like what you do with your mates. Your mates take the piss out of you, but it's all in fun. Um, he was like sort of, um, you know, he, he became subdued and obviously wasn't sort of swearing at them and calling them names. And he was actually being a bit more affectionate, which is the total opposite of obviously, you know, who the father is. So even though it might have been nice that he was actually finally doing that, you know it's not him and you know it's the disease. Um, that changed his personality. But it was really, really good. It'll probably be on catch-up, so I suggest you watch uh, Trouble With Dad. I think it'll be on for On Demand or for Catch-Up, or whatever it's called now. <coughs> Please check the number and try again. What? Welcome to the 
the messaging service. The person you're calling is on the phone. Please leave a message after the tone. Welcome to the messaging service. The person you're calling is on the phone. Trying to ring me Auntie Maureen. Um, and it's engaged. So it'll probably be someone like Auntie Sheila on the phone who talks for two hours apparently. Um, I don't know what's going on. Obviously I'm 20 minutes late to obviously what I usually am to ring it every day because I've been watching that uh, documentary. So I suppose I'll have to keep trying, won't I? Flame Grill Thinking is just $1.99 with King Deal's menu. Two patties, flame to perfection, cheese, big king sauce and fresh ingredients for just $1.99. Only a third Look at the lazy days. Like when the house isn't a mess but it's not tidy, like blanket for lying and slouching. And then loads of remotes out for YouTube and watching DVDs and whatnot. And then there's doggy toys all over the carpet. And then a dog there who loves chilling out with his daddy. So yep, I'm sure everybody else out there, when you have your slouchy, lazy days, the house looks like this. Everything at arm's length. And everything just so... Just all over the place. Because it's convenient to slouch and be comfy, isn't it? Hi, Andy, my night. I thought you would be home. <coughs> just said, Jim, I'll get rid of this. I, I was at the phone once, that's all. So yeah, you were, I. Yeah. I was just out with you, that's because I want Isabella's. Oh, All right. Well, Andy Isabella's been sitting in the chair. Uh -huh. She's been on a commode and she's walked a few little. Oh, good. Steps, I think she's picking up a bit. The good old friend I is. Oh, look, guys. I couldn't do it. I'm, I'm sat at the computer, it's like four o'clock in the afternoon and I've decided to come upstairs now. Um, not 100% sure I'm going to do any work, but you know, I just can't stay away from my computer for too long, it's weird. I just like, I get bored if I'm not like, I don't know, planning something creative or, I don't know, messing around in Photoshop or trying a new film making technique out in Premiere with the hope of, you know, putting it in you know some current work I've got for the clients or put it in the vlog or I just I don't know I'm just always at the computer um, I don't know I don't think I could live without the computer I couldn't live without the internet and just I don't know it's just a big part of who I am do you know what I mean and it's really really great outside and I'm not sure if the camera's showing this up but the specks of rain on the on the window and me and Tracy are meant to be going into town because she wants to get some uh, fruit. There's a really good uh, fruit shop down in town in Durham, and there uh, you can get loads of quality, you know, healthy food, uh, you know, fruit, vegetables, and everything for a really, really good price. And I think um, she's on a health kick because obviously me and Tracy is starting a family, or trying to, uh, when it does happen. Um, and obviously she wants to lose some weight even though I don't think she needs to. I can see a point though, she doesn't want to not lose weight then put more weight on when she's pregnant so she'd rather lose the weight so she can put weight on and not have to worry about putting too, too much weight on if that makes sense. I sort of get what she means anyway. I don't think I've explained that right though, sorry. Just making sure the neighbourhood's safe. He's on patrol. And for anyone watching at home, you have no idea how hard this is to do. And he'll be getting put down well before he's finished. He's like a bloody security guard, isn't he? Watching, watching over the estate. <laughs> Mind it is a good view of everything, like I must admit. I don't close these blinds on a night when I'm working until I have to because you can see everything. If you're expecting some you can see them coming down the road, it is handy like. Right dog, your ride's over. Daddy's arms are starting to shake a bit. Right. You look really concerned for my well-being. Right, Daddy's going to have to put you down. Yes, yes, Daddy put you down now. Right, one more look then quick. And then that one. Right, done. There we go. Everybody's safe and sound, don't worry. Is that right then? Are you happy now? Are you happy? 
Green light is all day. Oh my god, I'm absolutely soaking. Absolutely, well and truly soaking. Daddy's wet zone. Daddy's wet. My jeans are absolutely... I've just been out to post some, some stuff and I'm absolutely drenched and it's actually... Well, not snow, it's sleet, but it's uh, just as bad. And all I've done is I've been out three times today and uh, I've come back to see the ace to make sure he, he can go to the toilet because I couldn't take him with us. And uh, I've been wet every single time and that's the worst now. So as you can see, he's happy to see us because I've just come back. So any uh, dog lovers out there or any dog owners will know that this is the welcome reception you get when you've got a dog. And that's why I love having one. Oh, by the way, did anyone watch The Secret Life of Dogs on uh, ITV3, I think it was? Um, I missed the third part, which was Tuesday night, so I watched it on catch-up uh, the other night. Absolutely amazing. However clever you think your dog is, and that'll be based on your personal experience of being a dog owner, and all the little things that they do and how intelligent they are, this documentary, you don't even know the half of it. Dogs are like... Well, the arm man's best friend. It's the only way of putting it, really. So I need to get changed into some dry clothes because I'm soaking. My feet have never dried out all day. And there's nothing wrong with my trainers. It's just all the paths are, like, absolutely, like, waterlogged. So it doesn't, you can't help but step in puddles. It's really, really bad out there. Apparently, was it, I can't remember what the news said this morning now. It said there was a storm and they give it a name. They always give it like a name like Hurricane Daisy or something like that. And we always get like offshoots from certain countries. And that's what it is. So that's why it's extremely windy, extremely wet. And now <laughs> we've got sleet. Are you still kissing me, dog? Eh? This episode of iCouple is sponsored by TechServe IT Solutions for all your computer and IT needs in the Durham area, including Windows 10 and Mac OS tutorials. Give them a call today. Well, that's a good day's work done. I feel like I'm getting a lot done today. Some days, when you do like the really tedious, tiresome stuff, you, you just feel like, oh God, I've got no work done today. And today, I feel like I'm getting loads done. So it's nice to end the week off with plenty of work done. It's just, it's just a great feeling, isn't it? That you've accomplished something and that your time has been spent wisely. If you can hear that noise, Tracy's hoovering the stairs. One thing about Ace, he sheds a lot of hair and for some reason it gets embedded right into the staircase and it does take some getting out. <laughs> I would give a bit of info. I had my hair done the other day. I think it's a bit too short though. Um, I've got it like cut at the front and she's, I think she did. <laughs> I, I asked for like a forward facing fringe, but I think she's uh, cut into the front a bit too much. So I'm end up sweeping it across at the moment. At least it won't take that long to uh, go in, but uh, yeah, it's, a bit too short, I think. Comment below what you think, because I think that's too short, but uh, I've got both sides cut like the same now, so I don't have like that long bit that I usually have. But I think it'll look better when it gets a bit growth on. Oh, I hope it does, because it doesn't look too bad, I suppose. But hey, there's nothing I can do about it now. It's gone. Um, So that was yesterday that I got that done. Um. And I've got some really good news. Um, my brother's wife um, was pregnant and she actually managed to have the uh, baby the other day. So on Friday the 24th, my nephew was born and they've called him Harrison Sydney, which was really nice. Um, and he was born at about, I think, 3.41 a.m. in the morning. And he weighed seven pounds, no, uh, seven one. He was seven one. So yeah, it's just really good. 
Um, my mum sent us a photo, but it's like a far away shot, so I'm gonna have to wait until I go and see him to be able to maybe put it, oh, show you guys. So that's just really nice news to hear. So I've got two nephews now, so I am an auntie for the second time. <laughs> um, we are planning on going out for a meal right now. Um, and what I've done is we've got vouchers and it says we get a free bottle of wine. I could get money off vouchers or two free desserts, things like that. So uh, obviously we decided on the free bottle of wine, which is quite nice. Ah, hopefully I'll get to drink it all or if uh, Adam fancies having a drink of beer, I might get a bit more than just uh, one glass if I can drink it that is <laughs> I'll give it a go right putting all the boxes of all your products on display is so old school isn't it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of this down and I'm gonna put some of those statues that's in that box up there because I've got some cool comic book characters and I just think it would be a shame if we don't put them out on display. And boxes are just boxes, aren't they? Right, so let's go. Poor Davros. Oh, he's a wanker, isn't he? And your Dalek. You could he's, have he's one on the other side. <laughs> you can put it on the other side, equal it up or something, maybe. He's a dust cloud. <laughs> Plus, I'm getting, them, getting him to put these up here because he ain't put them elsewhere in the house. Why can we not put them on the coffee table? Like? I don't think so. This is his area where he can fill it with all the crap that he usually gets. Dalek's plunger's gone drooby. <laughs> if you're not putting them on display, you might as well get rid of them. I think I'll get rid of that one. Shit. Oh, wow, he's actually getting rid of one. But look at this. Tell everyone about this. All right, that, there was only about 100 uh, of these made and it's a Heath Ledger um, replica, but it's, it's a Hot Toys character so like £350 but it's like an exact replica it's got the clown mask in I could show you because we haven't opened the box that's a cling film to protect it so if you open that up like that there he is in there and you've got even the, the, the clown mask that he robs the bank with got different gloves they always come with different hands the Superman Returns one did oh cool so it's actually yeah. fabric instead yeah. of like plastic He's even got some cards. Yeah, and he's got like the stand because you meant to put him on the stand. I because it's a nice camera, this, even though it's like proper ancient like. But, you know, it's nice to have a bit of retro on display. And I'm going to leave all those boxes there because I'm going to put them away later on. But I'm um, what you call Hank Marvin. So we're going to. Go for some of the first, don't we? I've uh, already mentioned we've got a free bottle of wine. Aye. Uh, great, isn't it, darling? <laughs> yeah. That's what I got up to this week. I know. But the thing is, though, you couldn't really take this into work. I mean, I'm not no. being funny, but that, you know. I'm not allowed. Like it, I wouldn't be allowed to either. Like filming like Doris pissing her pants and that, you know. No, like, no, don't be like that. So, but you know. No, I sorry, no, she does do a good job, I must admit. And, and I tell you what, hats off to anyone. Who, do, who does look after the elderly, you mm. know, because I, I could not do it. I'm, I'm telling you off Because I tend to do activities for them, that's my main yeah. role. But I do dabble in a bit of everything else well, as well. Because you've done care in the past is why. Yeah, like they call on us sometimes, you know yeah. I mean? she's, she's always handy, Tracy, when, when, they, when they can be bothered with you. You know, mm -hmm. you, I mean, how can you not be bothered with that? Look at that smile. <laughs> so what, write in the comments, right, try and be nice. What do you think of the hair? I know, I said that I thought it was too short. The picture that I had, that I wanted, it's not I mean, she's right. Don't get wrong, she's still gorgeous. 
Mm. But like, you know... It'll be better with a bit of growth on it, I, like I, I like, say. I like the sweetness. It's like a cool yeah. original hairstyle. You don't see but many people with that. That's why. I am I still know. sort of... But it does have the option of pulling it forward, but I do yeah. tend to. But I still think that you would look uh, good, like, with the shaved hair. I'll put the picture on the screen now. Do you think Tracy would look good with this type of hairstyle? With it a bit longer, obviously, on one side and then shaved on the other. Shaved on the other. So what do you think? Let us know. Do you think you like it? Do you prefer it like this? Do you prefer it like the way she used to have it? Do you like, do you think she would look good in that photo example with her hair like that? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for continuing to watch because our subscribers are going up slowly. They are. They are going up. The Mac Pro video is... It's off the charts. Effing off the charts. I said <laughs> effing because it's a family show. But yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm chuffed for that. And again, now you guys are still giving us advice on it. Like, Someone said change the power supply, so I've ordered a new power supply for it. You know, and the thing is, if that doesn't sort the graphics card problem out, I've got a new power supply that's going to make the Mac last longer, so you're not going to really lose out, but please, just sort the graphics card thing out. That's all I ask for, because I've been on at this for a long time now. Mm -hmm. And so thank you for all your advice. Thanks for continuing to watch. Keep telling your mates, and we'll see you next week, of course, on Sunday. So don't forget to tune in. And then I'm going to fall asleep in a minute. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.